exactly right. You know, it's not possible for the infinite to for the finite to approach the infinite. However, the infinite, if the infinite is really infinite, he must have infinite means. And he must have some way of making himself known to the finite. <laughs> if the infinite is really infinite, he has infinite capacity, will have some way of making himself known in such a way that the finite can know him. So that's our premise, that if the infinite is moved, and this is why it has to be through the approach of love and affection. It's not going to be that we have some particular qualification. You know, whatever we have, he can do it a billion times better. <laughs> or he, has it, he already has it a billion times you know, over. So that's why the approach has to be through the channel of love, affection, mercy. You know, that's, that's like the medium through which the great can connect with the small. So that's the recipe? That's the recipe, yeah. Srila so Maharaj also describes the spirit of surrender as the, most, the greatest power known to man. You know? Because you know, not only can we attract the infinite, but if one has devotion to such a high degree, they can even control the infinite. You know, through love and effect. In the same way that a small child can control their parents. You know, because love is so powerful.